Welcome. This video is about how you can make strong versatile crossbars for your Forerunner. These affordable bars use the factory rails and you can make them for about $40 a pair. If this is your first time watching our channel, please support our efforts by liking our videos and subscribing to this channel. Just click the subscribe button you see on the screen. So let's get started. First, a trip to the big box store to pick up 10 feet of B-strut and four half-inch 90-degree angle brackets from the electrical department. We'll also get four one-half-inch spring nuts and four one-quarter-inch spring nuts. Then we'll get four half-inch grade 8 bolts and four quarter-inch grade 8 bolts and fender washers for them all. Look at the fog up. Isn't humidity a wonderful thing? Well, we're back from the store and ready to get started on our project. First, lay the section of B strut across the rack, wherever you want to position the crossbar, and mark it so that you can cut it to the correct length. Now it's time to remove the factory rack. First, we need to take off the plastic covers on the ends of the rack. I'm using a trim removal tool that I purchased at Harbor Freight, working it in gently to find the location of the fasteners and then using a soft cloth to cushion. Don't get too aggressive here. If you do, you may find yourself with a, a dent to repair. Now that the plastic cover on the end of the rack is loose, simply lift it away from you and it should pop right off. This exposes the two 12 millimeter bolts that you'll need to remove in order to take the rack off of the roof. Use a 12 millimeter socket to loosen both of the bolts. 
Don't take either one of them all the way out until they're both loose. Then you can simply use the socket head to finish the job. Now move on to the front of the rack and follow the same procedure to remove the plastic cover and the 12 millimeter bolts so that you can remove the entire rack from the roof. Okay, so it's time to cut that B strut that we marked earlier and maybe sand the edges with uh, either you could use a file or I used a belt sander. Um, I cut it with a sawzall, but a hacksaw will work just as well. I'm going to show you how to have the crossbar sit flush with the factory rail. If you want a longer crossbar, you can do that, but it would have to sit up on top of the uh, factory rail. So we're going to use a half inch spring nut and an angle piece that comes standard as part of the super strut line. Here you can see a one half inch spring nut. I've cut the spring in half so that it'll fit nicely in the B rail without so much trouble. You simply take the nut and compress the spring and then place the nut with the corrugated part against the inside of the rail so that it will hold it in place. Sometimes the spring from the spring nut will pop through the slots in the bottom of the rail. Just push it back in and move the spring nut. Now we're going to install a super strut angle bracket. This is a half inch angle. Notice we're going to use the short end on top of the super strut and just take a half inch bolt and screw it into the spring nut that we put in. Tighten the half inch bolt down into the spring nut. Repeat this process for the other end of the crossbar and then you're ready to install it into the factory rack. Next we'll prepare the factory rails for installation of the crossbars. You can use a one quarter inch spring nut in the factory rail. Note that the larger spring nuts will not fit, but the quarter inch will. Put one spring nut for each crossbar in each of the rails and then reinstall the, re the rails back into the vehicle, reversing the process we used to take them off. So I'll show you how to install the crossbars in the factory rail. I'm doing this off of the vehicle because it's easier to film this way, but you'll be doing it on the vehicle. So first reinstall the factory rack, then you can attach the crossbars to the rails. When you attach your crossbars to the rails, remember that the factory rails are aluminum. Do not over tighten them or you may damage the rail. I recommend using a fender washer to provide some additional support for the quarter inch bolt or nut that you're using. I'm using a quarter inch hex uh, bolt at this point, but you can use whatever you wish, um, as long as it's not too long and as long as you don't crank it down too tight. So here's what the finished crossbars will look like when installed on your factory rack. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please click on subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes that you may find beneficial. You can also find us on Facebook by putting in at Gen5Runner 
all one word, on Facebook. And uh, please follow us. Please click like if you enjoyed this video, if it was helpful to you. And we'll see you in future episodes. And until then, arrive safe and leave clean.